that time very, very quick. Get a clock, which that is, and a clock, a time clock, but you can call it a clock because it's quantum time, right? So there's two clocks here. You put two clocks together like that. They're exactly the same time. However, if you put them two together, the exact dot in the middle, where they meet, the two times meet, yeah, makes the time. Now, if you then turn around like that, so they're facing outwards, yeah, and you turn away, that way, what then happens to the time in the middle? Because the correct time would be over there, because you threw the time away. And if you go check the clocks, guess what time they say? Whatever the clocks say, they're over there. Yeah? Now, when they're over there, one's that side, one's that side, the time in the middle is not the same time as the time of the two ends, either end. If you want to check if the time in the middle is the correct time of that end or of this end, yeah, you have to then go to where you threw them. Because you threw them both ends like that, you have to walk from the centre to, say, this one. Right? So by the time it takes you to walk from the centre to that one, to look at the right time, the time in the centre has then changed, has it not? But to confirm that, you then got to walk back then to this one, yeah, to check the time with that one, to see if the time in the middle is correct. But it won't be, because by the time you've done it all, to check it right, the time is not right in the middle, it's changed! And by the time you walk from there, back there, the two clocks do it again, it's different than the point the first time!